Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. The second episode of my Concrete Jungle series. So it is the morning of day two, just before morning breaks. There was a wolf out here killing some zombies last night, but then I think he got killed. I heard a couple of other zombies just randomly die. So it's pretty busy out here. It's kind of foggy right now. Pretty busy outside, but I did a lot of work last night. So we got the forge finished up. I got a cooking pot uh, made out of the forge. We put a campfire down, made some bacon and eggs. Um, Boiled up a little bit of water, made some coffee with the three coffee grounds that we had. Um, I was able to make 67 iron arrowheads. I had to kind of go outside to get a little bit more clay to be able to do that. So we were able to make some arrowheads. Uh, we're doing well with ammo um, and leather. So we got the baseball bat made last night. I had to make a shovel. So we're looking pretty darn good, I think. Uh, as long as we don't get killed today. I think we're on a good start. Now, iron arrows and baseball bat don't mean that you're not going to die, but it, at least it's going to severely uh, decrease the zombie's chance of killing us. Give us a little bit of extra strength against other stuff. I'm really hoping that wolf is not out here. But I left a few things behind in the box up there that we're not really going to need. Um, I don't know, there's like paper and like one bone and things like that. So. Not really, don't really care about those. I'm going to be selective, I think, today as we go. Uh, we're not going to need the paper, and we're not going to need this for now. So we're going to keep the plastic, though, because it sells really well. So let's make our way downtown to where this is. I don't think it's downtown. I think it's just in that commercial district. Because, like I said, the cities are pretty big here. So this is where the residential ends, right? And then we're into commercial, I think, at this point. But you can see how the roads don't quite match up. It would be nice if the road kind of continued, you know, but ah, it is what it is. But those are just tiny little nitpicky things. Like I don't, I don't really consider that a big deal. Considering, I mean, look at this compared to the last alpha, where it was like a road down the center, and then <laughs> like four buildings on on the corner with no parking lots, no nothing. I think these parking lots, some of them are like actually separate from the buildings. Because um, I don't think they're part of the POI because they don't get reset. And surprise, they don't get reset when you um, reset the POI for a quest. At least that's one of the things that I've noticed. Um, so I think there's like parking lots that are just additional that get tacked onto some of these buildings. Which is kind of nice. I'm going to see how bad the zombie situation is down here. Like I know it can get nasty. Especially downtown because there's more chance of ferals and stuff spawning. Cops will spawn. You know. All kinds of really bad shit spawns downtown. But we're still in the commercial district so we should be fine. Okay there's the funeral home. Ooh what's this? Chip wagon. Yeah, looks like there might be some good stuff in there. We're just going to scrap these chairs now. We're not that needy of iron. I was glad that I uh, kept the, all the chairs and cans because we had just enough plus a little bit of surplus last night to make what we needed. Nothing in there? Wait, 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 how about we make this our home? <laughs> Could you imagine trying to pull a series off living in a trailer like this? I mean, you could probably do it. As long as you stay quiet at night, you'll be fine. Ooh, Mega Crush. Just finished watching a Glock 9 video. He's having problems finding Mega Crushes, so... Should send him that. That's like my first loot here. Alright, what do you got here? Ooh, red tea. We'll drink that. Bring the coffee down. I'm, uh using coffee a lot more than I used to now. I like to keep it on my hot bar just because of stamina. Yeah, we'll keep those for later. Actually, let's eat it now. A little bit hungry. Gonna try and keep our food topped up as we go here so we're not carrying a whole lot of stuff. And we still need to figure out where we're gonna live today. I'm, I got a feeling I might want to live like rather than living in the residential area, let's live like a, in a downtown area. 
One of my thoughts was to make like a pipe bomb base and do it right here, like in an intersection. You know, we got nice clear open areas to all four sides, right? We build a pipe bomb base in the intersection. We're right downtown. And I know that some of these, I shouldn't be left tapping this guy. Uh, so I think underneath here might be a uh, sewer system. Because I know some of the uh, residential districts like this actually have like a sewer system. Yeah, here it is here. Check this out. So there's a whole like sewer level underneath this part of downtown. And I think if I'm not mistaken, like right under here, there's like a a big room under here. Like a maintenance room or something. So it'd be cool to build our, our base over top of that and then um, use that as our house underneath it. Oop. All right. Fetch quest. Let's do this. Right in the main room, eh? Well, we're going to go upstairs because I know there's a secret stash upstairs. Let me go grab that in a minute. Uh, grab the stuff that we need and leave the rest, I think. As much as I'm tempted to just grab everything. Once again, it helps to know these POIs a little bit. But really, it's, I mean, a lot of this stuff is just common sense. And yes, that uh, potted plant is needed. So in case you don't know, potted plants, when you burn them in the uh, forge. Oh yeah, the other thing I did last night was make a couple of pocket mods. Um, the potted plants, when you burn them in the forge, give you 40 clay. So that's 40 less, less clay I have to worry about digging up. And if I keep just picking up potted plants and just have one stack rather than having a stack for clay, uh, I can I cannot have to worry about actually going to find clay and just pick it up as I'm going, which is a little faster. At least that's what I find. All right. Uh, I'm sure we could be like taking everything here and just selling it at the traders, but all right. One more coffin. I feel bad about like looting these people's coffins, but they're dead. Okay, we got a guy there. That's a chair. So we can drop this over top of the... Yep, there we go. I think this is where the... There it is. So we've done the quest, but we're going to go upstairs. There should be another zombie in here somewhere, I think. At least there usually is. There's two in here, usually. Doing the stealth early on will probably be less stealthy a little later. Just that I'm doing it now because I don't want to end up taking a bunch of damage. Due to like fights that uh, we don't necessarily have to get into. Can I get your head? I sure can. That guy's going to try to beat his way in. He's got a little ways to go. Good luck, buddy. Oh, I see you. Alright, definitely taking that. We definitely want to take the money. and We definitely want the acid. Hopefully we can find some more acid in here. So acid's good for a couple things. One for... Um, making tires, of course, but you need it for the chem station later on, which yes, I know, I uh, I um, trashed the, the chem station schematic, but we'll worry about that later. It's not really needed, like I found, like I've played through um, in an offline play to a later um, I think it was like day, I don't know what the hell day it was um, it, like 20 something and I didn't even, I still, at that point, I still didn't even need a chem station. So, I, it's one of the things I'm not worried about right now. It really is a later game thing where... Is he in? Let's just make it harder for him. 
Oh, there is a medical pile up there, though. Can we get it? It's like a later game thing where... Um, Alright. Let's take this guy out. Yeah, once again, this is just experience. I know this guy's here because I've been through here before. He's, he's like like 99.9% .9 of the time, he's, there's a guy right there. Um, but yeah, um, as I was saying, you really don't need the ammo until later. Uh, it's not really a, like, like you're not going to be making a lot of it. So, like, and, the, and really the chem station is for making uh, gunpowder and making gasoline, which I've yet to, you know, worry about. Um, I'm always able to find enough. And we got a bird up here, I think. There you are. I was actually able to get up here without him hearing me this time. You sneaky bastard. Usually this bird gets me every time. Doesn't matter how sneaky I am. He gets me every time. Not this time. Not today, buddy. And then this one. You can kind of do this way. There you go. Come on out here. I am not. I don't feel like fighting two of you at once this time. Play smarter, not harder. Ooh, I want those pants, though. Those are pretty nice, like, goth shorts. See ya. I think we can get this last guy. So her you normally can't get. Oop. Unless you're really stealthy. There we go. Excellent. A little bit of plastic and we get our rewards in here. Just in case there's... Nobody else? Nope. Nice. Crack a book. Dead people are readers. Did you know that? So we're going to grab this one. Then we'll go grab the secret stash here in a second. Ooh, that's nice. We can sell that. So I generally don't like schematics. I know a lot of people just... Ooh, that's not bad. A lot of people go ahead and... Um, that's the pipe shotgun. Repair that. Regardless of whether or not we use this, we'll definitely be uh, carrying that around with us. And we're already over... Um, we're already over on ability to carry stuff here. Alright, so up here, let's just close this in case they break in. Uh, yeah, we're already over in a stack of, like, healing. Healing is like... I don't know, I find it's a lot more common, but I think... Like if you're playing tougher, like if you're not um, giving the zombies the respect they deserve, I think, uh, you're going to get hit a fair bit. So you definitely need the um, the extra healing. I think it's pretty balanced, actually. I don't think it's like excessive amounts. Only if like, if like, if you're an experienced player um, or you're just, you know, excessively cautious, then it's an excess amount. But for the most part, it's actually not that bad. Uh, barrel extender mod. I don't think that will fit on this, though. What do you know it does? Sure, we'll put it on there. I, I look, I'm gonna... Sh give this a shot here. But we can't move very fast. We gotta be careful of that. Uh, there's nothing here I wanna ditch. Maybe this painkiller. But I wanna hang on to a couple of them anyway. In case we get a concussion somewhere. He's breaking shit. Uh, yeah, let's not deal with those guys. Let's just head back. If we find a zombie that we can smoke with this thing, we'll try it. But it's not a one-shot kill at warrior difficulty. I think in earlier difficulties, like at normal difficulty, uh, I think it is a one-shot kill. Or it can be. Oh, it's an urgent care here. Nice, that's good to know. I was worried about uh, antibiotics and stuff early on, but... You know, we got three honey already, so not that worried. Uh, but yeah, it's not a one-shot kill. It's just enough to take an average zombie off of its feet or do a, a finishing blow on somebody that you've hit already. Right? And then the reload speed is prohibitive, so it's like you fire it once. It's 
kind of like the blender bus except it loads slower which is a funny thing to say about the blender bus the blender bus was a little faster i think let's grab some free xp out this guy thanks buddy thanks i think we got a skill point to spend oh we want to check this mo power truck um let's take care of her first Take care of her first. Oh, you hold, held that arrow for me, did you? Thank you. Much appreciated. She's all wobbly in the legs there. So these more, more power trucks usually have some good stuff. If you're like playing the intellect build, you're trying to find the robotic, uh, the robotic um, books. That's a really great place to look. I find, I mean, that wasn't a good example, but I find more often and more often than not, uh, I'll get at least one book out of every truck. Which is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good ratio. Okay, there's a workbench in here. So they changed. I think I don't know if I mentioned this. They've changed the um, the uh, rules regarding workbenches and stuff. So every workbench in the world will be destroyed. There is no active workbench anywhere. So, um, which I think is a good change. I think that's a great change. It forces you to have to, like, um, you know, make your own. You can't rely on one at the trader. You can't rely on one you found in the world. If you want something, you got to make it yourself. Which I kind of like. Alright, what do we want to keep out of this? Let's take the brass. We're completely we're completely overloaded now, but the two pocket mods pretty much save us because we're not like ridiculously slow. I mean, we're slow, bad enough that if we got set upon by a feral, it would kill us. But I don't think there's any ferals around this area, so no big deal. Hey, buddy, how are you doing today? You don't look so good. Why don't you take a nap? Here, I gave you permission to take a nap. And the working stiffs trucks often find good tools in here, so it's worth checking them out. Take that and the motor tool parts we want, so what can we get rid of? What do we not really need at this point? Brass, pretty much at this point. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm not sticking around for you, though. Skaters usually have more health now than they did before. Don't really feel like getting into combat with him. We got to get back to uh, Hugh here, and then we got to find a place to live. Chicken. There we go. I ah, have to deal with that skater anyway. Just a different one. All right. Well, it was worth it for dinner. Oh, that didn't work. Missed his head. Probably got two more hits on this guy. Come on, shuffle demon. Move it out. There we go. I'm thinking this house might be a good place to live. It's a bit of a clear, but it's got a balcony over there. It's kind of nice. It's a bit big, though. I don't like really big houses. It's just too much area to cover, like if zombies show up on one side of the building as opposed to the other, then you gotta like constantly be running back and forth. I'd like to at least try and build a house where um, we're gonna have our horde base, so maybe it is a custom build? I don't know. You still hanging around? I'm surprise, still alive, if that's surprise. what you're wondering. Ooh, that's kinda nice. Oh, Battle of Volume 3 though. Something in return now. Power attacks to the legs slow Here the enemies. Go. As much as the magazine extender is nice, I think we want to take this because I think if we're going to be facing rads and ferals in some of the buildings, I think we're going to want to do that. We're going to take that one. And you got any good jobs? Anything close by? A couple hundred meters, car lot? Sure. Alright, um, can I see your inventory? We're going to sell you some stuff here. This stuff we'll get later on when we're specking into it. That can go... Uh, hold on to the motor, motor tool parts. That's worth 160. We'll sell those. 
Uh, the recog, I'm just gonna sell it. Headlights, I'm just gonna sell. Uh, what are we at now? 2700 Almost got enough to, uh, how much is this worth? 14 Meh. All right, so, I thought there was one that was like 20, the pistol, 2800 Um, do we want to try for that? I think we could probably just get away with selling all this stuff here. And maybe buy the pistol. Get rid of the shotgun. I think we probably do that. This is definitely a better oh shit weapon than that shotgun is. Um, and like I said, it's, I, I probably wouldn't do this. I would probably push real hard to do the... Uh, um, to get the assault rifle probably by... Yeah, we could, I mean, I, if you push real hard, you could do it. But I want to do this and sell this. Not that way, though. Let's what modify it first. Mail? Okay, use you. And I'm going to modify you. Take that off. Which we can then put on to the pistol. I know it takes the barrel extender. Bring you down. That's already better. Nice. Yes, I'm bargaining at the... At the, uh... Tip of a gun. Sell that for 68. We got 122. Yeah, we're loaded. Now let's just sell the battery. Uh, okay, now what? Thank um, God you're done browsing. Yeah. Next time I'll charge you for that. Go ahead, you charge me. I think in there we can store. Cool. Uh, probably put that in there. What else? Gunpowder can go in there. The oil can go in there. Uh, do we need anything out of here at the moment? The pistol rounds we want to keep on us. Did we put the shotgun rounds in there? We did. Okay, so the pistol rounds stay on us. Uh, what else can we drop in here for now that we're not going to be picking up the acid? All right, let's go look for a place to live. Now, we're going to go do this car a lot over there. We'll take a look for a house along the way. Something that's got a relatively small footprint. I mean, maybe we go to that... I'm tempted to just live in that place that we that we saw the rad zombie in now that I got some speed come on get up yeah you're still going get yeah, I mean a little tougher I'm tempted to live in that place that we saw the rad zombie we got the weapons now I think we can handle the guy He's just going to take a full clip from the uh, pipe machine gun. Probably a full clip from the pistol. And as long as we give him a bat to the legs, we should be able to stay away from him. I'm thinking. If that's the first thing we do. But this is kind of a nice area. I mean, it's got a cliff here. Some trees. It's kind of a pleasant little place. The uh, Beware Dog Snack Pig Man is next to us. I think we do this one. Let's see if that guy's still there. Probably is. Is it Mo? It's Mo. Damn it. I was hoping it would be Big Mama or somebody, or not Big Mama, but uh, like a regular zombie. All right, Mo, let's get this shit done. He's going to be regenerate. Oh, there's another guy in there, too. Come on, I need your leg, Mo. There we go. Oh, it's a big mama. And that's not good. Go down, Mo. Oh, fuck. She's, uh... She's the, uh, feral. Okay, he's done. And she's done. And, of course... Where are you going? 
Man, we're almost at a, like 9 mil. I'm glad I didn't waste all the 762. Had to knock on that tree, eh? Just to show me how upset you are? Is that your uh, manly uh, feral response to my uh, actions over here? All right, we're gonna live here. Let's get inside. Uh, we have any fibers? We don't, we gotta make a bed. So let's grab some plant fibers real quick. Get a bedroll down. Uh, bedroll. Yeah, so trailer parks have become very dangerous. Um, I don't know why. I guess it's the, um, like I said, that additional zombies mod that I added to the game. I think it's made them, made these trailer parks like really, really dangerous. So, not exactly sure why, but at least it adds some, some like enjoyable value. So now that I know they're more dangerous, it's like that's that little extra challenge that if you want to try and take it earlier on, uh, you can go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to break this up to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to go through and loot this place and we'll see what we get. All right, well, not a lot through everything else. I mean, a bunch of bones, some chairs, some coal. Got a few coffee grounds. Let's go ahead and scrap these. Uh, some cans. Uh, but let's just check this weapons bag real quick. Hopefully we find something good. Oh, a pipe rifle. We could probably sell that. And a... Uh, let's modify you. A bladed tip. So we're just going to repair that. Let's drop some storage down. We're going to use this as our house now. I like this place. Um, it's easily defendable. And we've got an iron door at the beginning. The walls are like a thousand hit points because the whole thing's made out of iron. Uh, it upgrades straight to cobblestone which is good. So that'll be a quick upgrade for the building. Then of course we go to concrete and then we've got like a concrete mobile home here. So let's just break these out to keep the front door free. Uh, we'll drop some storage down, drop the forge down and get the hell out of here. All right, there we go, got that going. Let's put a bunch of stuff in here that we don't need on us now. Um, oh, it's nice to be able to have storage. You should make a cooking pot. Um, we don't need to use that. We didn't get hit, which was fortunate for us. I want to keep those on me because I want to get some water tonight. If we want to keep that on me. Uh, we'll worry about what we're selling tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be picking that stuff up as I go anyway. Let's drop this down. Stop the zombie spawns. Uh, let's just put it in here for now. Right there. Perfect. All right. Now we're out of here. So we're going to go do this job. Uh, then we'll go back to the traders. Hopefully we can bring a lot of stuff that's at the traders over to this place for tonight. Let's repair you as well. All right, let's get, let's get rolling. We'll search the rest of this stuff like when we come back, if we got time. All right, we got a zombie like wandering around this building here. Got to kill it before we do this. I love how they got the little like narrow passageway between the buildings now. I thought I heard somebody over there, but nope, it's just this waddler. Hey buddy. Come on, get up. I got a few spill, spill, skill points to spend. Ooh, this works. All right, let's mark this on the map. Um, I'm gonna mark these with this for vending machines. So we might need food from them later. I doubt it. Normally I can survive on bacon and eggs, but I don't know if, how much searching we're gonna be doing um, while we're playing, so we'll find out. All right, let's get this done. It is downstairs, so we should be able to do this pretty quickly, I think. Hey, you. I'm finding the stealth now is a little better, if, even if you don't have any points in it, than it was in the past. I should probably turn my light on. Um, we don't need to grab that because we can grab these. Um, so yeah, I think I, th I find it's just a little better than in the past. Um, you don't need to um, worry so much about early game with your stealth. I find a lot of times I come up right beside zombies and they don't even know I'm there. Like in houses and stuff. If you're on the street, of course, it's a different story. 
And if you got a helmet light mod running, it's a different story. But for the most part, the stealth is actually pretty good. But I'm sure if you really want to get those headshots, especially later game, you're definitely going to want to um, invest into stealth. Like even one level of stealth early game is really great. And not just like the, the movement stealth, I'm talking about the uh, the stealth that gives you the ability to um, move uh, or to do extra damage. That's kind of like really important. Oh, we want to make sure we get enough mechanical parts for the workbench. I think that's what we're going to do next. Uh, so we're done this one. That was pretty easy. We could go quickly do another one, but I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, let's do, um, I want to get the final loot in this place first. Uh, let's have a look at our skills. I think we got two points. We do. So I think we want to go... This is what I was talking about. Hidden Strike, right? An extra 50% means the difference between sometimes killing tougher zombies with one shot when they're sleeping on higher difficulties, like Warrior or higher. Uh, but I think earlier, like like Nomad or Lower, it's not really necessary. Um, I think we're going to go straight Intellect. I think I want to go straight for a Workbench. So we're going to do that. We're going to go right for a workbench, I think. The benefit of having the workbench is that when we pick up uh, lead and gunpowder and all that stuff, we can start making our own ammo, which I think is going to become not necessarily crucial, but really helpful later on, so we're not reliant on always having to try and find it. All right. Anything in here, usually? Yep. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Close that. A little bit of gas. I'm really hoping that Hugh starts giving us some Molotovs. I'm trying to decide what we're going to do for uh, Horde Night. I don't want to do, like... like I don't want to waste ammo. That, like, that's the thing, right? Horde Night's always bad enough as it is. Um, but if you have to burn through most of your ammo that you're using when you're out, like, doing your regular questing and stuff, it's, like, terrible. So I like to use Molotovs and Pipe Bombs on Horde Night. And I usually get those from Hugh uh, or whatever trader I've got um, just so that it's um, you're really not um, expending your vital ammo that you need to stay alive during the day. Um, use that. Probably have to get something to eat and we're out. This is a plug I think. Yep. They made the plugs easier to break too which is nice. It was always annoying having to hit the plug a thousand times to be able to just get like a piece of trash behind it you know think there might be someone down here not today there is trash though I know there's somebody upstairs yeah I can hear you you bastard I hear you probably more than one it sounds like as soon as we hit this crate he's gonna come down probably Nope. He's up there. I can hear him. Ooh, five repair kits. Huh. All right. Let's see if we can get a stealth kill on this guy. Oh, there's one. Although I don't think he's the only one. Find out here in a second. Nope. Didn't think so. I think that's it though. Alright, let's just loot this place real quick. If there's any more, we'll deal with it. Well, at least they were both kind enough to give me my arrows back. Alright, what do we got here? 14 wood. Because that's really important. Uh, we've got farm plots outside our house, so let's take the corn. Why not? We'll plant it when we get it to our new place. All right, we can take this out because we can just jump up. All right, let's get this roof done and then get the hell out of here. I see your legs there. I see ya. It's shocking that you can still sometimes kill the, uh, the zombies with a leg hit. But if they don't have a lot of hit points, so there's two of them. 
butt shot. I can understand you feeling some kind of way about that, but you need to go. Place is under new management. Kneecap. Yeah, it's got to hurt, eh? It's like having arthritis, but not. Alright, see who we got in here. Oh, hello. Gonna make that one easy on me, are ya? So the trick about doing these without actually doing the clear zombies, which makes the fetch sometimes harder if you're doing a full clear, is you have no idea where the zombies are. Whereas when you're doing the clear, it tells you where they are. Makes it kind of easy. Plus you get less reward for this, so... Uh, how much are these worth? Let's repair it, see how much we get out of that. We got a lot of first aid, man. Alright, break this open. Mo power usually gives us some good stuff. Let's hope it gives us an engine. Come on, baby, give me an engine. Engine. Nope, but some stuff to sell. We'll take it. Alright, we're gonna go down and check these vending machines. There's one in here. And that one's broken. So we're going to go check the other one, see what it's got. Ooh, that's not bad. I didn't go in the bathroom, but... Ah, fuck, let's just go in the bathroom. I always feel weird about, like, leaving stuff behind. It's like, what did I leave behind? I know I didn't search that, but was there anything valuable? Huh. Usually there was somebody in here. Sure, take the paper. Gonna need to make shotgun ammo at some point, probably. Don't necessarily need that. And we could scrap that. But of course, now that we've been in here, it's gonna be garbage. A little bit more toilet paper. Alright, well, the clay's worth it, I guess. Although I could have got that in less time. Just by digging outside, but whatever. Alright, let's go check out... Did I check this? Apparently I can't check it. Yes, I can. I just have to look at it with the right eye. Right angle. Get an idea of what it really is. Be a little bit more discerning, I guess. Alright, what do we got here? Give me something good. 19 iron. We'll take it. Uh, just buy the peas and buy the stock. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm just going to have something to eat while you come up here on me, okay? You don't mind? It's nice of you to wait over there for me. At least that's, you know... Scrap this. At least that's very, very nice of you. So this is one of the new zombies that was added. <laughs> Texture's kind of nice. Sorry that I added it with that little mod. Alright, let's get back to our house. It's almost the end of the day. Wow, that day went by fast. We'll get back to the house. Um, we'll drop about everything, like almost everything off. We will go ahead and grab those two stones. Uh, grab what we need to sell, go to the trader, sell it all, grab the stuff out of his storage and bring it all back to the house. A nickel ain't worth a dime. Incredible. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Oh, that's a tough choice. Here's your bounty. This would be for Horde Knight. But once we get a forge... I left my money. We didn't have any money, did we? Uh, yeah, once we get the workbench, I mean, we can make pipe bombs. So let's take the ammo. That'll definitely keep us alive should we encounter more of those radiates and ferals. Let's just not take any uh, jobs at trailer parks. They'll probably keep us alive a little longer. Okay, so what do we got? 900, nothing. Uh, I do want to keep the, take the cobble though. We're going to use it to upgrade our house with. Uh, did you have gunpowder? You do. We only got 40, but we're going to take it. I want to make sure I have that. And then we can work towards other stuff here. So let's take another Time job from you. On. Got any jobs? Fetch to the southeast, southwest. Wait, where are we? 
We're southwest, so let's take the southwest job. I don't trust you. Old bungalow. You came Long as it's not a freaking trailer park. All right, grab all this shit. I think that's all that's in there, right? And one rotten flesh. We'll take that because the place is stinky. All right. So when we get back, we're gonna loot the outside of our, our outside of our building. I want to get that car taken apart so zombies don't blow it up, but we need a wrench for that. And I don't want to spec into salvage operations unless I absolutely have to. So once we get the workbench, we'll decide if we want to do salvage operations. Which I think, like I said, unless we find a wrench tomorrow, it might have to be the possibility the next point goes into salvage operations. Um, we got an iron node right here too. Oh, that's nice. So we can like dig under our house and then head over that way. Cool. All right, see what we got in the trash here. A little bit more iron we can break down. Let's break this doghouse up. Wish we could get a dog in this game, but he'd probably just turn into a zombie dog. Actually, that would kind of be an interesting mechanic. Getting a live dog, but then if it gets killed, it turns into a zombie dog and then you have to fight it. <laughs> so it would like force you to keep the dog alive, otherwise it's going to turn on you. But don't make it just any old zombie dog, it's got to be like a tough zombie dog. Right? If it's just a regular zombie dog and it's like, ah, uh, if it turns on me it's not too too bad. But then if it's like a, if it's like a really tough zombie dog then you're like, oh shit. Oh shit. My dog died. Then you gotta feed it, so you gotta have extra food. You know, it'd be kinda cool. Alright, well we did find a coffee seed. Well, let's plant that. So now when you break these seeds, like once you, uh... Once you pick these, there's a chance that it's, um... You're not gonna get a seed back from it. Which, I'm not... Here's what I would say. If you're going to do that, do it for people who haven't specced into living off the land. As soon as you spec into one point into living off the land, you should automatically get the seeds back. It should only be unavailable for those people who don't have living off the land. That's the way I see it. So we got 920 cobble. Let's go outside. Good way to grab experience. We're going to upgrade the um, corners because I can't get these from inside. Upgrade them to three high, because I think we're going to run out. And then tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade... Ooh, bag. Okay, shotgun parts. We're going to keep those. I'm going to upgrade the um, inside walls as best we can. I don't think we'll get a skill point. I don't think we have enough material to be able to get a skill point out of this, but... This will at least... Um, Reinforce the house so if we do get a wandering horde or whatever. And eventually, you know, I mean, we could technically... So I had an idea of turning this into a pipe bomb base at one time too, where we extend, like this would be the roof of the pipe bomb base, and then that area, this area, and that area would be the slots. But then my biggest fear was that the zombies would beat through the back wall to try and get in here, like they did in the... Uh, um, Blasted Oasis series where at first they were breaking through the back of my house to try and get to me So I'm gonna end this particular episode here. It's the end of the day. There's the uh, chime I do some work on the base tonight, and then tomorrow when we come back we'll head off do that retrieve the supplies and um, Figure out what we're gonna do from there. All right, so I'm gonna end the episode here Hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time. We'll see you later